Ayo, it's your boy Alert Gaming coming at y'all with some NBA 2K21 news. If you didn't know, yesterday 2K21 dropped some amazing news, but it's in, in it's in a form of a blog. So I know a lot of y'all don't like reading, so I'ma summarize this for us. Before we even get started with the video, since we're growing so fast, you wanna make sure you subscribe, especially if you're new. Make sure you have that post notification on, so you do not miss a single video, especially with 2K21 on the way, like less than two weeks away. You wanna make sure you subscribe, so you know exactly what 2K21 is. At for us in store but without further ado we're gonna get straight started because we have a lot of news and I don't want to keep you guys just waiting here so from what we learned here yesterday they have we officially have the release date of when the demo is going to come out the demo is coming out on the 24th which I honestly think if you think about it those are Kobe's two favorite numbers it's it's dropping on the eighth month on the 24th date so those are Kobe's both numbers so the demo drops exactly then I actually think that's a really great way and I'm pretty sure 2k dropped a two uh, they said they gonna put a Kobe statue and a bunch of other things to honor Kobe that I wanted to address that before we even get started so I think that's actually a really great thing so look out for that the demo drops on the 24th August 24th for my point guards you have Dame to thank as 2k is gonna be adding six eight point guards i don't know who's gonna be so excited for that because now you're able to make your penny hardaway your magic johnson and so on honestly i think this is a great audition because before you could not make your point guard taller than six seven so that was the tallest you could make your point guard now we're gonna have a bunch of six eight point guards running around i don't mind that honestly this is a really great addition for the point guard position as the point guard position has been needing a more like just a more overall like change honestly and they said they want to work on the down court scaling passes so you know when someone th be throwing the tom brady passes they want to work on that so sometimes it will go out of bounds and sometimes you catch me sometimes I hate that because some people just love cherry picking they love cherry picking for some reason they abuse the cherry picking in this game so that's why I think if they can tone it down and make it more fun I would not be mad at that and we move on to the next thing of the day speaking of the point guard position I know you point guards are gonna be happy about this or some of you guys are gonna hate it they changed the way the pro stick quirks so if you hold the right stick down that's your jump shot if you hold the right stick left or right you use your escape dribble moves if you hold the right stick up that's your signature dribble size up and if you tap the right stick that's gonna be the quick to one dribble moves and if you tap the right stick while holding the sprint equals the dribble momentum dribble moves i actually think this is a really great way because i think my point guards y'all gonna be enjoying this I, it's gonna be a bit difficult to like at the beginning of 2k21 but i think after everybody like finds that style because that's how i know a lot of point guards been saying in 2k20 in 2k20 especially this year the dribble moves been garbage they've been absolutely garbage and i can agree with that because the fact is they did not add anything they took out more dribble moves than they added and i think this will be a really great way for the point guards and you dribble guards so for my dribble guards dribble guards stand up and be happy about that and with that being said we're gonna move on to the next to the to the next news because we have so much we news we have to cover today along with the dribble moves they also changed how the street moves work now the street moves have been moved to a tap button to the right trigger so you will not fire them randomly which i actually think this is really really good because sometimes i know my point guards they just be dribbling and the like the dribble street moves they come out of nowhere <laughs> even myself i've made a point guard and i feel the struggle sometimes you don't want to stuff that ball between their legs all that sometimes you're just trying to get a regular just a regular crossover and then be doing too much i think this is a really great addition because this is going to change how 
and how the 2k gameplay looks and they added a bunch of new size ups and motion capture so there's gonna be a bunch of new dribble moves i think they added about 60 new 60 dribble moves for you point guards to go absolutely crazy i'll make sure let me double check on that like i'm pretty sure 2k 2k this year if they do not nerf anything, you point guards are gonna absolutely be going crazy and no one's gonna be holding you back. So they said they ditched about 50 new size ups and no and no quick draw. So that's one thing that we're gonna talk more about that no quick draw thing. But with that being said, 50 new dribble size ups y'all gonna be going crazy with that y'all gonna be going crazy with that let me know how my point guards feel in the comments down below same with my dribble guards i want to know i want to know how y'all feel we move on to the next one though along with them bringing new dribble moves for nba 2k20 when you shoot with the pro stick the shot meter changes from a timing bar to a targeting system so instead of trying to stop the shot meter when you reach the perfect release window you just adjust the pro stick in the real time to hit the ideal center aim point so this means though the right stick you're able to use the right stick to shoot and you're able to choose which side you want to be able to shoot so let's say you aim to the right side the bucket is gonna go it's pretty much it's gonna give you like the most accurate point of shooting and you're able to still use the button to still shoot so i know my people who are my shooters who are used to just using square to shoot and so on that's still gonna be good but i know a lot of people do want did want the right stick to have more functions and now it sounds like in the current gen it's gonna have more functions because you're able to use the meter to shoot and with this having with no quick draw being in the game this is gonna be really interesting because now we have the power like before in 2k19 and the, the two case before where you're able to choose the power of how quick you want your jump shot to be which i think is a really great addition because i always thought like just wasting a point just that upgrade point on a just on quick draw was really a waste of time now with 2k removing that and they said that they, there's a lot of badges that they have been keeping track of so they've been watching the badges that we use they've been keeping an eye out for that so i'm hoping the intimidator pogo stake all these extra badges that they do not need to be in the game that they can take them out the game so that's i think that's a really great addition by 2k because honestly if they keep an eye out for it throughout the game now they're able to take out badges that we do not need in the game even add new badges that's one thing i hope that 2k is gonna be on top of is like if they see something that's not working or we have a glitch or problem they gotta be able to fix it ahead of time and really quickly because we don't have time just to have a glitch throughout the whole year but so far I, this is this has just been so much great news honestly i'm not even going live so much great news for current gen and just keep in mind we have not even had no news for next gen so keep in mind for that for my defenders don't think i forgot about all of y'all on the defensive end you can expect a much stronger presence from big in the paint blocking targeting has been improved so it'll be easier to send weak shots back and we have loaded more courage for contact in the paint to slow down powered moves like hop steps so this means hop step layups big men's actually gonna be more effective when they're going inside so when they're trying to get that block they it's pretty much they're going like slow down the game is almost going to slow down in the paint for the big men's and so on which i actually think this is actually good because honestly this year the big man wave is not really like nobody has really like it's not been a point guard and a big man which has always been like that in previous two kids this year you could get away with just having like a power forward or even a small forward who's a lockdown a lot of people just been doing like that they just do been doing the meta lockdown so this is going to probably make the big man's like this is a really big upgrade for the big man i've been saying this because whenever the people going inside why is a big man not able to stop a hop dunk or hop layup or reverse layups so this is a really great addition because me myself i play the big man so i think this is gonna be a really great addition and they also added the motion styles so 
so this way you are able to replicate your model after a player so here so you are able to model your playstyle after players so here's the list that they made of the players you can model your players movements after you can model your players movement after Russell Westbrook, Giannis, LeBron James, Kawhi, Patrick Beverly Andre Ingodala and Draymond Green. In addition to these moves, the movement has has undergone several refinements with the ball, with and without the ball. So this means when you don't have the ball, even as a defender, you still feel a lot smoother. Which is something I've always thought. Why, as a defender, do I feel so bad on defense? It's like I cannot help my player and still get back to like it's like my lateral quickness even as a defender does not feel the way it should be so with this this is gonna mean me myself meaning quiet is my favorite player i'm gonna model my movements after quiet because i want to be fast on my feet and i also want to be really good on defense like i said this is a big dub in my eyes because before like I, everybody be getting excited for all the shooting news but me myself as a big man who loves playing defense this is gonna be something i'm gonna be really excited and they also said they go fix how the blocking system works this combined with the blocking system this is honestly a big dub in my eyes you guys want to make sure i want you guys to sign up in the comments and let me know what you guys think about about this and to go over everything we covered today they introduced in six eight point guards in my and pretty much in my career and so on the no more quick draw badge and 2k's keeping an eye out on the badges that we used in nba 2k20 so some of the badges that we did not use are probably not going to be in nba 2k21 uh they said there's 50 new dribble size ups and they changed how the dribble moves work they also changed the right stick. They changed the. Um, they say they're gonna buff how the big men's play, and they also introduced the pro stick shooting system. So this means, uh, like I already explained, we already know. We like as we get more news, I'll explain the more dribble shooting and so on one thing i'm excited about the defense like i said they're improving the defense which is honestly something that they don't talk a lot about and a lot of people don't talk about a lot is defense i'm honestly i'm honestly really excited about that sorry if you guys i was cutting a lot there was a lot of news that i had to cover i wanted to get this news out to you guys as quickly as possible and cover it and explain it because i know you guys don't like i like I don't want just to show a bunch of screenshots but if you guys do want to read the block for yourself like i said i'll make sure to link it to leave it in the description and if you guys make sure you sign off in the comments down below and let me know what you guys thought of the news and so on and i'll catch you on tomorrow's video i'm out I love you, Constant.